How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Foundry Channel. And today we're going to be casting a mini replica of Thor's hammer out of aluminum. Check it out. Alright guys, so the first thing we got to do is make the hammer out of foam. So I'm starting by making the handle for it. To do this, I'm basically just taking a rectangular piece of foam and cutting all the corners off. And then I'm going to sand it down just to make it nice and smooth. So once that's as smooth as I want it, I'm going to start working on the head of the hammer, which is again just a rectangle that I'm going to cut the edges off of to bevel it a bit. And once that's done, we can start assembling the pieces. the hammer and as you can see I added another piece of cylinder on the top of it just to make it look like the handle is going right through the head of it. Alright guys so now I'm making a strap for the end of the hammer which you can see is just a piece of styrofoam that I'm gluing together to resemble the shape of a leather strap. Alright so now that I got that I'm gonna glue the pieces together so you can see I've already glued the strap to the base of the handle and now I'm just gonna glue the handle to the head of the hammer just with some hot glue. Alright, so now I'm just going to center it on the hammer and make sure that it's lined up with the piece that's on top of it to give it the illusion that the handle is going right through the head of the hammer. And there we go. This is the finished hammer. Alright, so the next step is to set up the mold. So here I just have some normal play sand and then I have the hammer out of foam. So now I'm just going to make a bit of a cavity in the sand, put the hammer inside of it, and then start pouring sand all the way around, making sure to fill up all the gaps. Alright, so now that the sand's at the top, I'm just going to take a metal can and put it right over top just to act as a funnel for the aluminum. So the aluminum that I'm melting today is just some ingots and other pieces from previous meltings. And so I'm going to throw those into the crucible, the foundry's all fired up, and we're ready to melt. So about 10 minutes later, let's see how those are doing. And yeah, that's pretty good. As you can see, I'm going to skim a bit of the slag off just to clean the aluminum up for pouring. And as soon as I'm done that, we can start. Alright, so now I'm just going to take the crucible out of the foundry and get ready to pour it. So yeah, the styrofoam pretty much bursts into flames as the aluminum begins to flow down the channel. And five minutes later, this thing is cooled, so let's check out and see if we got a finished metal Thor's hammer. And yeah, there we go. So there it is, you can see the strap didn't quite come out, but other than that, it's almost perfect. So I'm pretty happy with that casting. Let's polish this thing up and saw the end off. So I'm just going to use a regular hacksaw and this shouldn't take too long. And there we go. Alright, here it is, the base, which I'm just going to throw away. And then this is the hammer. Alright, so now I'm going to sand the hammer up just a little bit, just to give it a bit better texture and have it a bit smoother. And here is the finished cast. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment about what you want to see next on the Foundry channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye.